please welcome the 21st President of Rutgers, the State University of New Jersey, Dr. Jonathan Holloway. Thank you, Chairman Angleson. Members of the class of 2021, welcome to this moment. We all understand that this is not the way that you imagined your graduation, much less this entire academic year. The last 15 months have been defined by a litany of challenges, disappointments, frustrations, and tragedy. But through your hard work, your focus, and your determination, you have found yourself here at the cusp of becoming. This may sound like an incomplete thought. The cusp of becoming what? This is a question for you to answer, and it is my hope that during your time at Rutgers, you have developed the tools and sense of self that will propel you toward the first of what will likely be many different answers to that question in the years ahead. Before you start the work of taking those first steps toward an answer, please join me in acknowledging everyone who helped you along the way. If you're watching this with your parents, take a moment to thank them for what they gifted you, whether it be shelter, food, resources, confidence, a shoulder to cry on, or the occasional piece of tough love. They have given of themselves so that you may thrive. Similarly, your aunts, uncles, siblings, grandparents, and in some cases, your children have been part of the support network that helped you manage to this cusp. Thank them. Do so with unabashed enthusiasm. Let your accomplishment be theirs as well. Once you have thanked your family, I hope that you will reflect upon that Rutgers specific network that aided you on this journey. There are the roommates and classmates, of course, just as there have been faculty and academic advisors. But there also have been the healthcare providers, the counselors, the coaches, the librarians, the custodians, the dining hall workers, the groundskeepers, the shuttle drivers, the repair people, the first responders, the administrative assistants, and so many others. Why do I mention them? Because without their hard work, your ability to get to this cusp would have been so much more difficult, if not impossible. Find a way to thank them as well. Why do I belabor this point? Well, for one, it's simply polite. But I am more deeply motivated to emphasize the importance of acknowledging others' assistance because it helps move us toward a deeper appreciation of our obligations. Obligations? On a day of celebration? Yes, obligations. Toward the end of this ceremony, I will confer your degrees upon you. When I do so, you will hear me reference the rights and responsibilities that come along with your diploma. These are not idle words. As Rutgers alumni, you will have the privileges that accompany being a member of a very special community but you will also have the responsibilities of upholding the best aspects of that community while also committing yourself to the work of making this great university even better. Poet Gwendolyn Brooks captured this sensibility far better than I when she wrote, we are each other's harvest, we are each other's business, we are each other's magnitude and bond. Brooke's message here is as simple as it is profound. We need each other, and we are only as good as the hard work that we invest in our endeavors. But there is more here. Brooks is also reminding us that the vibrancy of our community is the accumulation, the amplification of so many individual successes. Each of you working hard and possessing the audacity to imagine something more has made this a better place. In the closing pages of his new book, The Sum of Our Dreams, The Concise History of America, Rutgers historian Louis Major speaks about the roles that hard work and bold imagination play in shaping a community. In this case, the community in question is this lovely and maddening country. Listen to Major. Whatever its struggles, the United States has been a nation that has identified itself by its dreams dreams inspired by abstractions like democracy and rights, dreams animated by seeking the balance between individualism and community, dreams stirred by those making a new home in America and pursuing a better life. 
and dreams also driven by the desire to break free of all the dreams. Sometimes achieved and often broken, dreams have defined the history of the United States. I think it's safe to say that dreams, the audacity to imagine a better tomorrow, brought you to this university, and now you are about to leave this phase of your Rutgers career. To return to something I put in front of you at the start of these comments, you are on the cusp of becoming. As you continue on your journey to become a teacher, a consultant, a financier, a poet, a scientist, a musician, a pharmacist, an artist, a nurse, a dancer, a professor, a dietitian, a philanthropist, an attorney, a doctor, an agitator, or a TikTok influencer. Remember, the people who brought you to this cusp reflect upon the obligations that accompany this great accomplishment and dare to dream of ways to make your home, your neighborhood, your university, your state, your nation, and your world a better place. You have the skills and intellect to do this. And don't you dare let anyone tell you otherwise. We are each other's harvest. Dream of making it more plentiful. We are each other's business. Dream of ways to increase our sense of communal accountability. We are each other's magnitude and bond. Dream of ways to support your fellow friend and stranger and through the strength born of that connection, make the kind of positive difference that this world so desperately needs. As the class of 2021, you have made it to this moment by surviving a series of trials that could not have been imagined. Now take full measure of those challenges and celebrate the fact that you have overcome them through your strength, creative vision, and resilience. These attributes will serve you well as you become the embodiment of your dreams. Congratulations, graduates. Mm -hmm.